Hey everybody, welcome to Dr. Fantastic Interviews. Today, imagine, I'm sitting with an incredible human being by the name of Damien from Australia. Welcome to the show, Damien. Thank you, Dr. We, Fantastic. We are on a, a beautiful dinghy in Marina del Rey, the largest man-made, small craft man-made marina in the world, over 6,000 boats. It's a fantastic day to be alive. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, we are, uh, like I say, we're going to try to find a home for this dinghy. Uh, because it's just, it needs to be parked someplace. <laughs> but in the meantime, I thought I would interview this, uh, this human being to see what he what he has to say. Now, uh, Australia is a magnificent place. I've been there. My son played the Australian Open, and I thought it was a marvelous place. Why did you come to America? To be with the love of my life. Ah, love. That does it every time, doesn't it? <laughs> it sure does. How did you meet your love of your life? I met and I noticed you statued on your knuckles. That's so when you right. hit someone, it's going to be ta- it's going to be imprinted. <laughs> no, there's not rings, but it's a tattoo. I'm making a joke. You, you but, so yeah. tell me about meeting the love of your life because I love to hear love stories. Well, wow. so we met in 1987 in a beautiful city called Virginia Beach in Virginia. Uh, 1987, we dated. Uh, I had a 12 month visa at the time. My dad was there studying. And we hung out and loved being at the beach and being together. And uh, when I finally had to go back to Australia, uh, my girlfriend Anna came back with me for a few months and then she went back and we kept in touch, communicated back and forth uh, via letters, old school, you know. Oh, old school. Old school. (laughs) When's the last time you got a letter? Oh, jeez. How many decades has that been? (laughs) Yeah. It's been a while now. You know, they they stopped writing, uh, uh, teaching cursive in school. Really? In America. It's terrible. That's... That's sad. Yeah, very sad. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the wheel turned and we got back together. Well, we communicated... uh, Geez, I think it would have been 1998. We were in good, solid communication. I was still in Australia, and she was here in the United States. And uh, I was passing through uh, LAX about eight, nine years ago and said, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? Um, I was here for work. And uh, she said, oh, let's catch up and have a coffee. And uh, it's sparks flew. Sparks flew, mate. Thunder, thunderbolts and lightning and all that stuff. And Passionate kiss. Yeah, that's all that good stuff. The, kid, the first kiss I always think is the best. Yeah. Now, as a life coach, which I am, and a philosopher, a motivational speaker, I always like to hear the story when your eyes first connected. Tell me that moment when you looked in her eyes and she looked in yours. I was like, wow. She, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. So beauty hits you first, beauty which it often first. does. And then... It's, it's, the, it's the picture, the outside. Then when you find the inside, that's even more beautiful or as beautiful. It's quite inspiring. Yes, yes. Now, yeah. I tell people in relationships, and, uh, and about it's all, I'm all about being positive, confident, funny. That's what the, what women, wants, uh, what women want from a man is confidence. And, that's and I right. say never look away first when you first c- catch eyes because the girls want a stronger guy. If you look away first, you're not as strong. Yep. And, you know, so, I mean, that's one of my big advice uh, things to guys who are single. But also to be fantastic, you know? Absolutely. Who wants to be good when you can be fantastic, right? That's right. That's right. So that's my big thing nowadays. I'm Dr. Fantastic, as you know. And I'm um, encouraging everyone to be fantastic, especially the children. I didn't tell you, but after uh, we, we were together the other day, I drove a, a guy who works for a Mattel toy company. And his son was, and they, they take care of your kids there, which is really pretty cool. Yeah. And his son was, um, or is, uh, three years old. And so I said to the young boy, I said, how are you? And guess what he said? I'm good. He's already in a habit at three years old to say I'm good. That is horrible. <laughs> to me, good is a four-letter word. Imagine if the children of America or the world start saying I'm fantastic yep. at that young age. Yep. It builds your self-esteem. It puts them apart from the crowd. It would make them more successful in life. That's right. And here's the best news of the day, ladies and gentlemen. I was hoping and I was thinking positive that we were going to find a parking spot for this little cute little dinghy. And we just did. So we're going to pull up here and uh, dock. And we're going to continue the uh, the conversation because uh, I'm a multitasker. And I like to do two things at once. So we're going to continue the conversation while Damien jumps out and ties the line, which I taught him how to do the other day. Let's see how he does, ladies and gentlemen. And see, I'm watching him. He's going around, around. No. 
Flip it over. Flip it over the other side. Remember, invert. Invert. There you go. Perfect. That is the knot. That will not get you in any trouble. So he just tied uh, on a second attempt with a little help from the doctor. Pull it in a little closer. Pull it in. No, pull the boat in a little bit. Now wrap it around. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Invert. And you got the, the crazy eight. Eight's my favorite number. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this young man is, wants to be a captain. And he asked me on my new uh, uh, app. Uh, it's called Ask Doctor Fantastic Anything. And those of you listening, I encourage you to take a selfie on video and send it in to Monty, the talk show host, at gmail.com or Dr. Fantastic at BeFantasticToday.com. And I'll address it because I guarantee you, any question you have, anyone in the world, millions of other people want to hear the answer to. So it's not just, you're not, you're not going to just get the answer. The world is going to get the answer because Dr. Fantastic will attempt to answer it in a, in a good fashion. And if he can't answer it, he's got many, I should one I'm no, talking to a third person here. I've got many people I could go to to answer that question, you know. Uh, and uh, I love helping people. And that's what my mission is in being the Fantastic Movement. Have you noticed since you discovered being Fantastic a couple days ago, have you noticed, are you using it? Have you tried it? Yes. Tell me uh, your results. Well, you just feel better about yourself. It's it's a pos- it's a positive affirmation, and the power of positive thinking. You be positive. You give you give up that uh, that good aura, that good energy, and yeah, being fantastic is way better than being great or good. Yeah, or awesome or wonderful or blessed because it's the only word that makes you smile. Smile is the healthiest thing you could do for your health and happiness. So um, I'm on a mission. And matter of fact, Damien, I didn't ask you this before, but I want you to be an ambassador. I want you to join the group. We have 65 ambassadors, and the only obligation is to be fantastic. And hopefully people will ask you about being fantastic, and you can tell them it's the only way to be. <coughs> Would you like to be an ambassador? For sure. And I think Anna should be an ambassador, too. Definitely. So um, you joined before her, because I actually invited her. You know what? I think I invited you. I have your number down as hers. So that's why I keep answering, oh, Anna, and it's your number. Because at first when I got the call, I think she was on the line, and she was using your phone. That's right. Ah, that confusion is going to stop from now on. So i got to change it to, um, and you're going to be number 66. Does that number mean anything to you, number 66? 66. Well, I like numerology, and the number 66 in America is the route across country. It's It's the longest route. It's called Route 66. 66. That's right. Yeah, so you That's just became cool. Ambassador 66. you got to relate things, and you got to look at positive. Everything has a positive angle, mm. but you have to dig for it, and you have to look for it, and you have to, why did this accident occur? Well, there's something good that happened after that accident. A lot of times I'll meet people, because I drive Uber and Lyft and Zoom and yachts and you know, all other stuff. They'll say, oh, I'm, in a, I'm, I'm late. Oh, this is horrible. I said, well, guess what the good news is? You just met Dr. Fantastic, and I'm going to change your life. And I turn it around for him, because everything happens for a purpose. There's destiny. You know, I wasn't planning on coming here this morning. You called. I said, oh, it's a good time to go over to check the yacht out. I have, nothing, you know, I have my radio show today, by the way, at 2 o'clock. You should tune in. Everybody, um, 2, 2 p.m., the third Tuesday of every month, I'm on HealthyLife.net, which is uh, called Positive Talk Radio. And I interview people. And I'm interviewing William Durfee from the other day. Uh, yeah. Fascinating um, Navy guy. So anyway, so this has been a short um, eight, what is it, only eight minutes and 57 seconds? It feels, it feels like longer for some reason. Well, this will be a short one, I guess, because um, Damien's got a look in his eye that he wants to get back to work. <laughs> we got to tie this up anyway. We have to um, um, put the... Uh, the top, put the um, you know put the cover over. Everybody, thank you for listening. This is a short uh, uh, interview, but sweet. And uh, I'm glad to know that Damien's got on board for the movement, and he's going to make. Uh, I'm going to help him with his life as well because I'm a life coach, and I'm going to give him some guidance on becoming a captain. So everybody, be fantastic. Thanks for for listening. <laughs>